Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about SDXL Lightning, which was released this week by Bidance. This model is a fast text image generation model that can generate high quality of images in a few steps. There is a one step, two step, four step, and also eight step version that allows you to generate those amazing images. We're gonna also try to compare it with the SDXL base model and also a turbo version of SDXL and see the difference between them. So let's try it together. But before we start, make sure that you have downloaded the LoRa models that you can find on the huggingface.com. You can check my link on the description. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use an eight step version LoRa. Once downloaded, make sure to go to your comfy UI folder into model, go to LoRa, and place your version here. After that, we're gonna open up Comfy UI, and I already prepared the workflow for this tutorial. This is a very uh, simple, basic workflow that contains a checkpoint loader, a LoRa model loader, a clip text prompt, and a simple key sampler with the VAE decode. I also add an extra upscaler model with ultimate SD upscale nodes. And that's it. So to run our SDXL Lightning 8 step, we need our LoRa nodes. Once selected, you can come here and type in your prompt. I'm gonna click Q prompt and see the results. I'm gonna also check for the generated time for these images. The first time it is always taking too much time, but we're gonna judge it based on the second generation time. Here we have our image. I'm gonna do it again to see the time for the generated images. And click Q prompt again. It takes 28 seconds to generate these images. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is bypassing this LoRa and we're gonna only generate these images using the SDXL YAML realistic. So let's do it two times to compare the time. As you can see it takes less time compared to the SDXL Lightning 8 step. However the quality is very bad. So we can say that this SDXL Lightning can generate better quality. Now I'm going to use the SDXL base file and do the same thing. I'm going to click Q prompt again to, to make sure that we have the proper seller generated times. It takes eight seconds. Okay, we can also see that we have a bad quality here. Now I'm going to switch to Real Vision Turbo. Turbo model generally use low CFG scale and also low steps value. Let's click Q prompt. Here we have a generated time of 9 seconds. But the quality is also acceptable. But I still think that the lightning has better quality even if it takes longer. Now I'm going to do some experiment. I'm going to try combining the Real Vision Turbo with the SDXL LoRa Lightning. Okay. Let's click Q prompt. Here we have a generated time of 20 seconds. We can see that the quality is acceptable. We have more vibrant color and the prompt alignment is very good. I also made a series of generated images with different with different checkpoint model here you can see that we have the turbo lightning like this one where i combine the turbo and the sdxl lightning we have the turbo version the lightning version and the sdxl yammer version you can see the main difference between them the image on on my left look more realistic and have more vibrant colors we can say the same thing about the lightning version It is also the same thing for all other images. 
I also put the generated time for these images and you can see that for the lightning version we have an average time of 22 seconds. When combined with the turbo version we have an average time of 25 seconds. However for the STXL Yammer the model takes less time but the quality is not very good. The fastest model is the STXL Turbo which take less time compared to the others and generate acceptable and generate acceptable images. However, I still think that the STXL Lightning generate more vibrant color and have better consistency and prompt alignment. So that's it for today's video. According to me, this STXL Lightning is a good LoRa model. As we saw, it can generate good images with vibrant colors and has good prompt alignment too. But when we compared it to the STXL Turbo, it was not really um, that amazing. Also, we noticed that the generative time depends on the model that we used. The STXL Turbo generated practically the same images with the short amount of time compared to the STXL Lightning. However, when we compare this STXL Lightning with other STXL models, we can clearly see the difference in the generated time and the quality of the images. So that's it for today's video. You can watch my other video on my playlist and stay tuned for my others upload. Thank you.